hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make this delicious chicken pie hope you are ready so i'm going to be showing you the ingredients we need to make this delicious chicken pie if you like to learn it stay tuned let's go here are the ingredients i need for the fillings of this chicken pie so here is my chicken you could use any quantity so this is the quantity i want to use chicken breast i just uh, shred it or um, that i cut them in these uh, pieces i already mixed them with my uh, spices uh, garlic and the rest of them salt so that uh, i allow it to incorporate a little bit before frying it here is my carrots here is sweet potatoes um, onion and my garlic so i'm just going to start frying this now i drizzle small um oil in the pan my frying pan then just pour in the chicken breast right now i just give stir like this till it turns brown so after you see that it has simmered for a little while like it's turning brown you just add water to it so that it can the ingredients in the chicken can be released in the in the stock or how will i say it now i don't know you can understand right okay so add a little water and cover it and allow it to cook for a short while before adding my vegetables some other persons like uh adding all the vegetables before uh, adding water but i like to do my like because i would not want my vegetable to be overcooked so i'll just allow it to simmer for a short while now i'm going to add my onion to it the carrot is going to be the last i already added my garlic uh paste meanwhile i added some garlic to mix with the chicken the first time i was doing it i like a lot of garlic on it garlic is very very healthy it helps to cure so many ailments so i like garlic in my food garlic ginger and cinnamon very important the rata, i just added my um, boiled irish potato right now at this time i'm going to add my carrot i added a lot of carrot After that, I just add my tuna. Mm -hmm. Please let us know where you are watching us from. And if you are liking our recipe, kindly leave a comment below so that I can give you a special hug. Okay? If you want to be seeing more videos like this, also let us know. When you allow it to simmer and rise, you just sprinkle some flour so that I can bring them together. Just a little flour. The flour will have like a glue to mix them together. You could also use corn flour. Okay? So at this point, I'm just going to put out the fire, but it's okay now. Then spread it and allow it to cool down while we go ahead to start mixing our dough. For the dough, I'm going to use this 1 kg of flour. And I'm using this quantity of salt, almost 1 um, tablespoon. So this is my butter. Okay, I used butter of 250 grams and I added oil. This is sunflower oil of about uh, 100, um, 100 grams to eat. So everything total 350 grams. So both of them are oil. So I like mixing it like this. So I'll do mixing with my 1 kg of flour. Okay. So I'm going to add one um, half tablespoon of baking powder. Then I'll start mixing with two eggs. Okay. Just create a well inside and pour it in. So just keep mixing and mixing and mixing till you have something like this. See it? So this is the texture of what you are supposed to have. Then I'm going to add some milk, okay? So you just keep kneading it like this, but you don't have to over knead your dough, okay? Look at it. So this is the consistency. Don't over knead it, okay? So that's why I'm not using my uh, working board to knead it because I don't want the dough to turn to bread so it's supposed to be a dough that is crunchy so we just mix a little while knead it for a little while and this is the consistency once you put your hand inside like this you see it goes inside it's sticky but not sticking to my hand you see so once it's like that it goes inside start coming up gradually you know it's ready can you see that so i'm just going to wrap it in a nylon and keep it for about 15 minutes 15 minutes no longer than that you can keep it shorter than that 10 to 15 minutes okay all right, so let me just wrap. I'm just going to cover it. So I'm just going to partition it because it doesn't need to be to need it anymore. So I'll partition it in sizes. So this is exactly what you can see how succulent soft your dough is. 
So we'll take one of the dough, just sprinkle some flour in the table, uh, working table, then roll it. So once you spread it like this, just take it and put it on the meat pie cutter. If you don't have meat pie cutter, never mind. I'm still going to show you how you could do it without a meat pie cutter. This is what you should have. Then just put your fillings inside. After that, this is my egg. I just whisk one egg. So we'll use it to seal it, and I'm still going to use it to rub it later on just rub at the edge then fold it like so and press it down press it press it till the thing will trim off the excess by itself can you see that so once you trim it all like this you can see the meat pie at the back of it so that's how to do it then you gently open it once you open just hold it in your hand like so you can see it then i'm going to put it down because i want to use this fork to press the edge down like so as you can see me doing I like always doing it like this because it has all kind of beauty to it. Okay. After that, just um, put your fork in the floor and just put a kind of pork so that air can come out of it. This is what it should look like. You can see it. So I'll just put it in my pan now. Let me make another one again so you can see and understand. So this is how to do it. If you don't have this meat pie cutter, this is what you should do. Sprinkle some flour. Just try and roll it. This is going to give you the same thing. Just that the meat pie cutter makes it more easier. So once you have something like this, just try to cut it round, trim it, so it can give you a round shape. You can even make it square. It doesn't matter. So once you have it like this, then try to put your fillings at the middle, like this. Just spread it, then add your egg wash. Then fold. That's all you need. While you fold it like this, just use your hand to arrange it. Then at this stage, you use your freck directly, like so. So once you use your freck to do it like that, you could go ahead and trim it off to make it a little bit neat. So that the dough will not be too long or too much. And you see, is it not looking beautiful? This is it. Then just you poke it the middle so that bubble of air bubble can go out so you can see it is the same thing okay so never mind if you don't have a meat pie cutter so here are they i'm just going to put them in the oven right now before then i'm going to uh, use this my egg wash uh, egg wash <laughs> so just uh, rub them to make it shine so i added the egg wash already i'm going to put them in the oven right now so as you have ready yummy 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 shares we're going to test one now, so delicious. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Help us to share this video. Stay tuned for more videos. We love you. Mm -hmm.